Hi guys, this is God from Team UNSF, and today we're going to do a little overview. This is an intro, this is going to be an overview, not a review, because I hate when people say, Oh yeah, this is a great gun, I've had this for two days, and it's the best gun I've ever bought. They don't know how well it's going to perform a month from now, a year from now. All they're doing is giving you an overview of what they think so far and what their first initial thoughts are, so that's what we're going to do. And then about a year from now, we're going to come back and give you the full review, giving experiences and stories and examples so we can actually give it a review. So these are just going to be overviews. And today, the overview is of the CYMA CMO 31D, I believe. It's the uh, CYMA. Yeah, 031D. Yep, I was right. Um, here, let me just take the uh, barrel condom off. So basically, this is just... Uh, sorry, my cameraman was trying to tell me something. This is basically just an AK-74U. Uh, the quick specs are everything's full metal except for the uh, plastic high cap 600 round magazine. The, actually, it feels pretty good. It feels more like polymer front handguard and then the polymer hand grip. And the one, th my biggest pet peeve about this gun, as you can probably already hear, is the cowbell syndrome. He's coming. <laughs> sling mount is like yeah like right there hitting against the metal stock yeah everybody everybody coming. will hear you coming but so but a little electrical tape you tape that down it'll be fine i mean if you really wanted to you could take it off but i hate the cowbell syndrome <laughs> so i mean go okay going to the stock it's a full metal stock if you come around to the other side of the gun see this little button right here you push it in the stock folds and there's a little clamp right there that it clamps into, and to unfold it, you just pull to the rear of the gun, and it folds open, and it has a really solid lock-in. Like, this is not moving anywhere. That's the other thing. This gun as a whole, let me hold this so it doesn't shake, is solid. Not much shaking and jiggling besides the cowbell sling attachment point. Um, it's got a metal charging handle. I mean, you could do this it's all It's a great day, sound. Much. I mean, it's, it's a pretty good sound. It's got a good spring behind it. But uh, I won't be doing that too much because even metal can break. Metal adjustable front sights. I'm sorry, rear sight. Metal. I don't think this is adjustable front sights. Uh, plastic flash hider. Metal part of the flash hider. This is just plastic. Um, I know they. I'm pretty sure it's threaded. I know you can get black metal ones that are threaded that you can take this off and put on there if you really feel inclined to do so. Um. So for those of you who don't know how AKs work, this is the selector switch. Top is safe. First down, because in Soviet Russia, they like their full auto more than a semi, so that's full auto. And then all the way down is the useless semi, according to Russians. And it's got the rushing markings for a semi and full auto. Um, so there's that. You have the mag release right here, which you push forward. Here, let me put the mag in. Going to the mag got this front lip right here you put that in at an angle and lock it back in and then to take it out you just push forward I'll do that again rock it in give it a little tap sometimes and to take it out you get that you just push that forward and it pops out and you could do that fancy little Russian thing where they have a mag in and then you just push it with that and it falls out and then it snaps in but I wouldn't really suggest doing that that's, again, this is the magazine that came with it, and we also got a, I think this was like for 20 bucks or something, the Bakelite magazine, or you don't know what Bakelite is, it's just a plastic that they invented back in World War II, so we'll take that out for safety reasons, we won't have the uh, magazine in. Uh, full metal dust cover, full metal barrel, like I said, full metal receivers on this side. This is where you would you can buy an optional rail mount that it hooks onto there, and then there's an RAS rail right here. I think you can even buy dust covers that have a rail already on them. Metal trigger guard, metal mag release, metal trigger. Like I mean, I mean this is actually a surprising heavy gun for its size. Like it's pretty hefty. I would guess it's about four pounds maybe, but I mean that's pretty good size amount of weight for a gun this small. Uh, here, let me show you how long it is with the stock folded up. That's you could fit could, this in a backpack. You could fit this in a backpack. That's a good thing. I mean, you could go CQB. I mean, you probably have to downgrade the spring because I do believe this is about 380 FPS. 
Most places allow 350 for CQB. So if you're down here in the string, you can go from CQB quick, <coughs> release the stock, and then you have a pretty good field weapon. I've only used this once in game as a backup, and it served its purpose real well. I mean, I could easily see people using this as a uh, primary. This is actually my little brother's gun. He lets me, lets me borrow it when he doesn't use it, which is most of the time, so it's almost like it's my gun. But he, this is his primary, and he, he likes it a lot. I mean, you can't beat it. I think it's like 140 bucks. I could be wrong. We'll put it in the link below um, how much it is. I mean, it's reasonable. I mean, it's a CYMA. It comes with... Where did I put it? Where's the stick battery? Oh, it's right here. An 8.4 volt... 1200 ma 8.4 volt NIMH battery. I mean, it's okay. It's a stock battery. I was just getting an upgraded like Intellect 8.4, even better, Intellect 9.6. It'll increase the ROF and the longevity of the battery. I mean, this is fine. This actually had a pretty decent ROF with this. I was surprised. I was expecting to get like 600 rounds, 700 rounds per minute. I got somewhere probably like 850-ish. Um... So yeah, I was surprised with the stock battery, but honestly, I would just upgrade The it. one thing we have found with this, the battery is uh, easy to get in, but the uh, yeah, the top we'll part is that. hard to close. Since this does have a skeletonized stock, obviously the, the uh, battery can't go back in here. So here's the button to release the uh, dust cover. You push that in, lift up here, you can see. Give you a little quick look at the bolt going back. I mean, I think there is a mod, well, where you can chop this back part off and it'll go all the way back because I mean it doesn't go as far back as a real AK but I mean I really wouldn't suggest doing that don't mess with your guns uh, it's a small type to me a connector you can see the top of the gearbox and the wiring this is where the battery goes it goes into the uh, mock gas tube I don't know if you can see that it just slips down right in there I mean this thing's got a lot of battery room yeah it for a stick type, it's got a decent amount of battery room. You connect it there, this battery's dead, and there's no mag in the gun, so it's not going to go off. Then, you kind of angle the feed tray cover back. Not the feed tray cover, the dust cover. Kind of angle it into the receiver, and this is where it starts to get a little finicky. Oh, it nope. worked this time. It's going to call me a liar. It worked. It, it's got a pretty solid lock. I mean, there's a little wiggle room, but I mean, it's an AK. It's not completely rock solid. Nope. Oh, came off. There we go. I mean, it'll stay. It's not going to come off. Okay, it's going to call me a liar again. There this we go. This button's a little finicky. Yeah, the button can be a little finicky, but very rarely. I've never had it come off in a game. I've used it as, like, doing, like, reload practices and nothing's come off. Yeah, look, there you go. That ain't coming off. Sometimes the button just doesn't pop all the way back out, so sometimes you need to get your nail and push it forward right there but that's not a biggie don't let that turn you off from this gun um it's got obviously this is the rear attachment point for a sling then over here you have the front sling attachment i mean it's an ak it's a pretty simplistic gun there's not much else i think i could say about it uh like i said at cyma so you're getting decent quality for your money don't expect anything spectacular but I was surprised at the quality and the build. I thought it was going to be really... I mean, it's decent metal. It's probably some form of Chinese pot metal, but, I mean, it looks fairly decent quality. I mean, it's not like it... I'm pretty sure it's not steel, but whatever it is, this isn't going to break on you anytime soon. The gears seem fine. I haven't had any problems. I've done... I've probably put 2,000 rounds through it and haven't had any problems yet, so... That's basically it. Like I said, I probably forgot some things. If I did, I'll try to put them in the annotations below. Um, and like I said, we'll come back to you in a year with the same gun and let you know how it did in battles and stories and testimonials. And I'll probably let my friends use these and see what they have to say about the gun. So this has been the review of the CYMA CMO31D. Thank you for uh, visiting the UNSF Airsoft channel. Please uh, rate, subscribe, leave any comments below, and uh, ask us any questions. Um, out of the three main people on this team, we've combined airsoft experience in about uh, 22 years or Something so. Something like that. And um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask below, and uh, we'll respond to you on that. Thanks.
Also, on another note, I'm just going to start putting these like little messages at the end of our videos. If you have any specific guns you want us to review, ask us. We might have them or we might be able to get them to review. We're not sponsored by anybody yet. Hopefully, we will. If any of out, anybody out, you, out there own your own airsoft companies or anything related to airsoft that you want us to sponsor or market or do advertisement for or whatever, give us a call. I'm not a call. Give us a PM. And we'll get back to you. So, but yeah, don't hesitate to ask. Do you have this? If so, can you review it? Because if we do, and if we have it in our powers to get it, we will do so for you guys. So, uh, thanks.